So we have critics and, <clears throat> and I just would say, take this to your people and talk to them about the literature that's in existence and, and what's coming down the pike and that you do have studies and so forth uh, to answer our critics. And, and Dr. Knopfler is a good guy. He's a smart guy. But he's a PhD on a campus where across campus, the orthopedic surgeons are using stem cells. But on his side of the campus, he's not an advocate of that. So academia is very interesting. Here he is. And again, I put this link to his little blog so that we can all look at that, confront uh, the criticisms and so forth, knowing that, again, the, our critics are friends. Um, and start working on the papers. And, and patient testimonial, unfortunately, is dramatic, but it's not publishable. You can't publish, I got better. It's got to be a biomarker. So we David, need to convert it. David, I really appreciate how you landed the uh, plane tonight. And I, I think it's very important. So I'm a really big fan of Dr. Pollock and the PEMF and, and getting the right level of Gauss to get deep penetration in the body, but but that does not treat underlying causes. So, you know, if you listen to Tom Levy, and I completely agree, I've known this for years, healing is electron donation, deterioration is electron stealing. And what PEMF does is it delivers electrons. Light delivers electrons. Nutrition delivers electrons, okay? So a lot of folks out there are saying, will it help with Lyme? Will it help with Epstein-Barr? Will it help? I, I didn't get the chance to watch all of them because I'm on a Peter McCullough talk at the same time. But if, but both mechanisms are important. However, if you want to treat Lyme, you've got to kill the Lyme bug. You've got to kill Bor Borrelia burgdorferi. It's an electron stealer. So you can certainly compensate with technologies that deliver electrons, okay? That is not a cure, but that is really an appropriate disease management situation where we gotta, we gotta do both. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think particularly in the infectious disease space, I see glaucoma. Dr. Carter well knows that glaucoma has uh, in many cases an important infectious component. Um, microcurrent works, you know, what, um, what Andy uh, Rosenfarb talks about with his microcurrent device is obviously helpful, delivering electrons. Why do we need, why does that eye need electrons and another eye doesn't? Because that eye has an electron stealer in it. Right, right. Or an electron. So, so we've got to look at these things. And I think, I think the only point you're bringing, I, you know, I've heard, I've heard about MMS. I'm listening to McCullough right now. And someone talked about MMS, you know, chlorine dioxide. I mean, chlorine, hopefully everybody listening here watched our energy medicine seminars and, you know, does it have enough potential to, to do this? You know, I, I saw, I have seen in, in test subjects that uh, MMS doesn't have enough oomph to treat certain bacterial infections, but it's well known to treat certain viral infections. I'm dubious about MMS in, in um, <coughs> the spike protein. So, you know, there's all different, there's all different considerations here, but can this be a potential adjuvant adjuvant and a healer? Very possibly. 